We did some research and we saw a huge opportunity in a new series, something that um, allowed us to go into a different culture, and bring our own culture, and um, it's like food adventure travel. We went to do a general scout, sure. so that was when I was on the fence. It was like India, and then we went, and I was like, wow. I mean, Indians are crazy, dysfunctional, nuts, just like Italians. <laughs> you know, except they bring it to the next level. And so I felt right at home, and I felt, you know, this is, there's something here. It's something really exciting. I had certain ideas, uh, certain um, expectations. Sure, yeah. um, you know, we were conditioned to think in a certain way. And I went and I tried to go in with an open mind, an open heart, and certainly with no uh, preconceived ideas, which was hard. And what I'm proud about, this series doesn't glamorize the slum dog millionaire kind of street people. And it shows a progressive India. It shows um, a modern India, yet traditional. So there's the respect for new and old. And I think it really shows an India that um, is going to be one of the great countries in the future. I think that's what makes, that's what made that ex our, our experience so fabulous and our TV, our new TV series kind of so interesting is that in one episode I am sleeping in a barn with elephants and then later that day I go to a Maharaja's house, you know, a royalty's house in Rajasthan and spend the weekend there and I play elephant polo. I mean, it's just this contrast, but yet we eat with our hands in both situations and, you know, at the end of the day it's about the people, the heart of India, the heart of the people and how generous they are. It's, it's incredible. Everything that you can find in New York is available in Bombay. I mean, from the high-end hotels like the Four Seasons and Shangri-La to, you know, the smaller hotels. Great restaurants, great food. Um, it is, you know, a very modern, you know, country. It is, uh, they speak English fluently. There is an English-British sensibility, so you have you know, in the newspapers, there's the page three at the gossip column, the, you know, the society page. You have all the magazines like GQ, Vogue, Maxim, you know, Cosmopolitan, you know, all India. There's 1.2 billion people. And so you have this contrast, but when you look at, you know, the middle and upper, it is exactly like it would be in the West. And it is exciting, it's fabulous. Uh, and then, you know, there's the other stuff that, India slowly, you know, kind of developing and um, seeking out new opportunities, and and both both ends of the spectrum are explored on our show, but done, I think, respectfully. <laughs>